what a day for swing trading stocks so in today's video we are going to be looking at pretty much some of our swing trades my strategies and my approaches for it so i hope you guys all enjoy it guys we had one of all one of our best days today of the entire year swing trading so i hope you guys all enjoy this this is going to be pretty much how i swing trade the strategies my mindset all that stuff so i hope you guys all enjoy it for those of you that are new to the channel my name is carter i've been a full-time swing trader for six years and with that being said we do have an amazing school the swing trading master class where I teach people my strategies how I find stock and opportunity pretty much my approaches everything you guys need to get started with swing trading so check it out down below you guys can use code YouTube for 20% off so check it out down below and we do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching so check that out as well but uh let's uh jump into this here so looking at all the positions that we're holding guys green green break even green green so what a fantastic fantastic uh um day here so let's talk about the stock here for those of you that know we bought ticker symbol a I Z. Now, looking at this stock, what do we notice here? So the stock has a beautiful upward trend, which is really, really important. Trends, in my opinion, are one of the most underutilized things. People always try to find stocks that are selling off on a downward trend, hoping they're going to reverse when in reality, it's always better to just find a stock on an upward trend and uh, just ride the wave <laughs> and make money that way. You know, another thing we look at is support. So, you know, for this stock here, ticker symbol AIZ here, one of the things here that we have is heavy support near and around 160. You guys can see it hits it once, twice, uh, you know, and recently three times established establishing really, really hard support here. So the stock went from 160 all the way up to 166, which might not seem like a huge move. I get it. But as, as you become a swing trader, you'll realize it's not about, it's not about those one, two, you know, it's not about trying to take a dollar and turn it into a hundred dollars. It's about taking those one, two, three, 4% returns and then just have that compounded over over the you know years. And so this is with AIZ we're already up 4% which yes I'm very very happy about because this is in the matter of 1 2 3 4 days. 4 days 1% a day I will take that every single day so you know another thing here that we have is this nice uh crossover with the macd indicator the macd indicator is an indicator a lot of traders use to determine um entry and exit points you know historically when the you know this uh orange signal line breaks up through the macd line this represents a good entry point and that's just what we have right here today so we actually could see more momentum enter the stock here kind of very similar to like we saw right in here where it actually broke up through it and it continued to rally up a little bit and then when it breaks down through it this is kind of always like the last ditch effort to take your profit you guys can see it broke down through here and then sold off so you always want to try to buy it when it breaks up through and then sell it on the dip down so another indicator that we use here is going to be the rsi lines the rsi stands for the relative strength index and you guys can see that it was trading for near and around about a 29 you know the last time it was trading for a 29 was all the way back in here where we had this good move and then previous to that was right in here where we had that good move so the past two points of you know the rsi at a 29 we had good buying pressure so that was another indication where we could have more momentum Another thing here, looking at the hourly chart, you guys can see that it just broke out of these moving average lines. And this is another thing you look for. You're looking for breakouts. And that's kind of what we saw here. So going back to the stock here, I'm really, really happy where the stock is. And my approach and thought process is to see if we can get it to push up to like 168 with having a stop at about 165. You know, for me, I use a trailing stop loss. So if the stock does break out of this, then the next move, it could be up to, you know, 179, 180, you know, and that's the thing about swing trading is catching these runners. And, and yes, I would be very, very happy with taking profit at 168 or even 166 at this price here you know i'm just trying to make as much money as i can just like how we all should be you know another stock here that we traded was cake um you know this is cheesecake factory you know this stock here has a couple of things going going in its favor and we actually almost got stopped out here but you know we did have a great day of you know 2.5 percent today alone 
So you guys can see that it does have that nice upward trend which we look for as well as heavy support. And the thing about this support here is that it, this support is actually old resistance. So basic technical analysis states that old resistance, so you guys can see where it hits it, and we got sell off, hits it, sell off, has a tendency of acting as new support. So it hits it and now it establishes good support here. Boom, and then hit, hits it again, boom. So right here, actually, you guys can see we also have another indicator that we didn't talk about, and this is the 90-day uh, moving average line. So you guys can see this stock here has a tendency of hitting it and getting, getting good buying pressure there. So we understood that as well. It was undervalued on the RSI, so we had several indicators in our favor, and it's obviously been doing pretty well for us, you know, being already up, you know, 2.5%. The thing about this stock here is we're seeing a lot of consolidation you know and what that means is it's not getting good buying pressure it's just kind of flat here so our stop loss actually is going to be pretty much near and around this 37 30 mark where we can make a little money off it but it's just a, a position here right now that it's kind of one of the weaker ones in our portfolio so you know that's that's another thing here as well um, another one here is DHT DHT here sold off down to the 200 day moving average line it's another moving average line and looking back you guys can see it got good buying pressure there in the past so we had a had a good tendency that my thought process was to see if we can get a push from like 10 ten dollars and uh, you know 85 cents up to like 11. 11 uh 50 or 11 25 excuse me now this one here was a play on the 200 day moving average line and the rsi because it was trading for 28 so super undervalued and i really think we could get some more momentum start entering this position here now as of right now you know you, we got a good entry near and around this 10 uh 10 uh 70 area right in that range now this one here does have a pretty solid risk and reward which was one of the reasons why we took it so you guys can see that hopping in now gives about a three to one risk and reward so that's that's pretty good and and obviously you can always adjust that with your stop loss but good upward trend you guys can see sold off down to some level of support which is really good as well uh, another one here that we're up on is uh ticker symbol dov dov was a play on the 90 moving average line so you guys can see it hit it and we had that good move good tendencies in the past of getting good buying pressure there. So we had a lot of good momentum that we could get out of the stock. And that's exactly what we saw with this one alone here. If we draw it out, you guys can see we're already up, you know, about 4%. So I'll, like I said, I'll gladly take that any day of the week. It was trading for a 40 on the RSI, which normally could be a little bit not overvalued, not undervalued, but more in that middle ground. But with this stock here, I always think it's important to look back at recent tendencies. So DLV here, you guys can see that the last point it was trading for a 39 was back in here where we had that good move. And then previous to that was back in here where we had that good move so i understood we could have a good amount of buying pressure out of this stock here and that's exactly what we saw the last stock here was a stock actually i didn't buy on mumu this was an etf ticker symbol a u r a you guys know for those of you that watched our more recent live stream of e in future etf that we're buying and this one here was trading on the 90 day moving average line had a good upward trend you know and the thing about this one is this is a uranium etf i actually bought this not even for a swing trade but for like a long-term investment i just think that uranium in general you know an energy source that can power technology and ai is a very under underutilized um sector right now a lot of people are freaking out over nvidia and Apple, which yes, I understand those stocks are moving and grooving, which is great. But you have to think about how how those are gonna get powered. How is AI and technology gonna get powered? And I really think, and a lot of analysts think that nuclear uh, energy is gonna be the future. It's cleaner, it's, it's a good energy source. And I think that looking back in five, 10 years, we're gonna be wishing we had bought this ETF. It's only $31, so it's kind of just a fun play. I put, I think, like $100 or $200 into it, but I still wanted to note it here because it was sold off. 
it was honestly a pretty good uh, possible swing trade. But um, guys, that is it you know, for today with the position update. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, you guys are more than welcome to ask down below. And don't forget to check out our swing trading school, code YouTube, 20% off. Uh, I think we have a couple of spots left for that code, so check it out. And feel free to DM me on Instagram with any questions. Um, you know, we're trying to grow that as well. So follow me there, but guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Like subscribe and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care.